this week on This is the Mackenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada. We're sightseeing in Edmonton. I'm gonna try to have fun with this and not get injured. And witnessing the impact of giving back to the community. The support that the Glen Rose provides, just absolutely necessary. All while players compete in the St. Crude Oil Country Championship presented by Akon. Coming up next. is the Mackenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada. As the second half of the season gets underway and the race for the top 60 in the Freedom 55 Financial Championship heats up, the Mackenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada made its way to Edmonton, Alberta for the third edition of the Syncrude Oil Country Championship presented by Akon. Once again, the tournament partnered with Oilers Entertainment Group to support the Glen Rose Rehabilitation Center the largest rehabilitation hospital in Canada. We've had a tremendous long-term partnership with the Edmonton Oilers Community Foundation. Through the proceeds of, of last year and this year from this tournament, we're gonna to be building a pediatric procedure room where they're gonna be able to go and have some privacy, a soothing environment, uh, an appropriate environment for the youngest patients that we have to be able to have their treatments and procedures done. It's huge, you know, the, our foundation's done a great job uh, in helping a lot of uh, different charities and different types of events, and uh, Glen Rose is a really good one for us. Before the start of competition, OEG hosted its annual Celebrity Pro-Am, where some of Edmonton's hockey pros traded slap shots for power fades, all for a great cause. This tournament's uh, obviously done a lot uh, the past few years for the community, so anytime that you can uh, help support a, a local charity and local hospital, it's always extra special to be a part of, so nice to uh, definitely get out there and support. It feels great to be playing for the Oilers again and, and playing in, uh, in my hometown, but when you get out and do an event like this, it definitely hits home a lot more. Everyone knows us for hockey, and it's just nice to you know see sticks in the hands of our alumni and some of our current players. It's his uh, home for me now, but it's always nice to get out to this event. I had a lot of fun last year, so I was more than happy to, to come back out here and do it again. I'm born and raised here in Edmonton, and uh, so when they asked me to be a part of it, I jumped all over it. Any chance I get to, to give back, and obviously you can see the support, local athletes, the sponsors, the, just the entire event itself. You can tell there's a lot of work put into it, so yeah, honor for me to be a part of it. Edmonton Petroleum Golf and Country Club, a par 71 layout designed by former PGA Tour player Mark McCumber, played host to the event for the first time. But the best of the best on the McKenzie Tour were up to the challenge. Former Edmonton Oilers great Grant Fuhrer teed it up in round one of the Syncrude Oil Country Championship presented by Akon. With competitive juices surely flowing, the 55-year-old Hall of Famer held the zone but struggled to a seven over 78 on day one. 33 years as junior, PJ Samir fared better at the Edmonton Petroleum Golf and Country Club. He carded seven birdies and an eagle against three bogeys for a six under 65, his lowest round of the season. I missed a couple putts that I probably should have made, but I had a couple fall that went uh, that were pretty nice. So overall, pretty solid round. I really like the layout. It's a lot of good tee shots, a lot of good second shots, and the par threes are pretty fair too. It's a nice setup. The San Diego State University alum set the pace early, but was caught by Florida's Jake Kevorkian, who joined him in a tie for first with his own 65, thanks in part to some crafty shot making down the stretch. It was a good number for my caddy, actually. It was either play at 155 or 160. Uh, obviously, it was, it was the right number. It was just a choke down eight iron. I'm a little lucky when it goes in like that, but it was fun. Kevorkian is entering uncharted territory. Since posting a T-34 finish at the 2017 Bayview Place DC Bank Open and only his second McKenzie Tour start, the 23-year-old has missed 15 consecutive cuts. It's, it's tough to say the course when that happens, but I mean, I've played good rounds at Q School. I know I've got it. There's just some things mentally that I did today that I haven't in the past that really helped me a lot. I felt overwhelmed, I think, the first 15 tournaments I've played in. So just working on the things that I can control out there uh, was big for me today. I'm looking for that first cut, that's for sure. <laughs> it's been a while. To keep that momentum going, Kevorkian and Samir will need to keep pressing. 
A group of six contenders are tied for third, just one shot off the lead. When we come back, Will McCurdy takes a ride through River Valley. The biggest secret is listening to the segue. And who will make a move during the second round of the Syncroot Oil Country Championship presented by Acon? On this is the Mackenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada. This is the Mackenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada. Edmonton has long been a favorite stop of the Mackenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada. With its beautiful river valley, endless outdoor activities, and of course, a great golf scene. Situated along the North Saskatchewan River, this former fur trading outpost is now at the center of Canada's sixth largest metropolitan area. And there's no better way to explore a city than with a local. So before competition started, Mackenzie Tour pro Will McCurdy met up with Marina Giovanoni from River Valley Adventure Company to cruise Edmonton's ecological gem. No, just in case you didn't pick a helmet, they're all pretty much the same size, unless you think you have a big head. Okay. Pick this one right here. <laughs> all right. Do I look like I have a pretty normal sized head? Oh, yeah. Now yes. we're ready. Pretty awesome. It's really cool though. You kind of learn a little bit about the city and it's a really easy way to do it. Grab the handlebars all right. and look at me while you step up. Good, all right. So now I get you to lean forward, come towards me. All right, I'm gonna hit the cone. Good, and backwards. Okay. Make sure you're keeping your eyes up. Okay, challenge for you now, Will. I want you to stay still for me. Don't go forward or backwards. Okay. Do you remember how to sob? Pretty much. Yeah, essentially, it's when in doubt, stick your butt out. If you say it in a Canadian accent, it's when in doubt, stick your butt out. Doubt. <laughs> the biggest secret is, well, a little bit of common sense, uh, just a little bit of kind of listening to the segue. Do I look like a pro? I'm gonna try to have fun with this and not get injured. Saskatchewan River. It's one of the longest rivers in Canada. It actually starts up in the Rocky Mountains in the Columbia Ice Fields and ends up in the Hudson's Bay all oh, the way wow. in Ontario. I didn't really realize that. Edmonton was actually built down here on the banks of the river yeah. back in the day. And that worked out really well until one day there was a flood and the city was totally decimated. Oh my gosh. But Edmontonians were smart people. We decided to move our city up to the top of the hill, that way it'll never get flooded again. Yeah. I had never been to Canada before I qualified for this tour a couple years ago, and uh, I love it up here. It's a pretty nice way to spend my summer. We play great golf courses, it's a great tour. Conditions changed as wind and rain swept through round two of the St. Crude Oil Country Championship presented by Acon dampening the runs of first round co-leaders Jake Kevorkian and PJ Samir. Samir managed a 1 over 72, punctuated by a double bogey at the last, and fell back into a tie for 15. Kevorkian was a bit steadier. An even par 71 kept him inside the top 10, and he headed for the weekend for the first time in 15 starts. Coming on the heels of an opening 67, George Cunningham took the reins with a second round 64. Even with a double bogey on his card, the winner of the Golf BC Championship got it to seven under par. I did really well in Kelowna of uh, handling the nerves and yeah. seeing the leaderboards when people I felt like were catching me. So I, I'm gonna use that experience that I had there going into the weekend and learning to just stay focused on what I can control. And from there, you know, what happens, happens. The 22-year-old built a two-stroke advantage over Mackenzie Tour veteran Matt Marshall, who at 33 managed a second round 65. It definitely makes me feel like the old guy out here, you know. Uh, it seems like every week I'm playing with somebody that's 21, 22, and uh, you know, it's good though. I mean, it shows you that the game is doing well and uh, there's a lot of good young talent out there. Marshall, who spent 2017 away from professional golf, posted a top five finish earlier this year in Lethbridge. Rinsing Paulini joined him in a tie for second, while Germany's Yannick Paul and Australia's Brett Coletta claimed to share a fourth. Coming up next on This is the Mackenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada. You don't need a lesson from me, do you? One young man makes an impact simply by sharing his story. Just kind of gives me a different perspective uh, with what I do. 
I was amazed. I mean, he's, he's a warrior. And then we hit the links with Tyler McCumber. I think he's the bus driver right at it. Who makes a run in the third round of the Syncrude Oil Country Championship presented by Akon after the break. This is the Mackenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada. You don't need a lesson from me, it's too easy. At the start of the week, Mackenzie Tour player Eric Onessi experienced firsthand the impact of the Glen Rose Rehabilitation Facility when he spent the afternoon with Ethan Lockwood. So see, I get set up here and I'm just gonna rock my shoulders. It was pretty awesome. Yeah. I've never really seen or been around a golf pro, so that was a pretty cool experience. There you go. For Ethan, making a 10-foot putt goes beyond the average golf drills. It's a testament to his journey. Ethan's my son. He was a patient of the Glen Rose uh, almost seven years ago now. Uh, he had an accident playing street hockey uh, in November 2011. And so we lived in the Glen Rose for about five months, just working through the various recoveries. The support that the Glen Rose provides and the tools and the recovery uh, methods that they have, just absolutely necessary. It's a phenomenal story. I mean, he's just shown that it's the courage and, and the, uh, the dedication to, to rehab. They said that he may not walk, he may not talk, and here he is a six foot five strapping guy out on the golf course and uh, hoping to go into engineering. I mean, his future is very bright. And uh, I know the Glen Rose Hospital has played a, played a role in that. And uh, it's neat to be a, a small part of that. Just kind of gives me a different perspective uh, with what I do. I was amazed. I mean, he's, he's a warrior, he's, he's an athlete, he loves sports, and uh, he's gonna do the best he can to get as better as he can. It's so great that there are events like this that support the Glen Rose. It's so needed. The Glen Rose is such a great facility. There you go. Tyler McCumber's recent victory at the Osprey Valley Open was his fourth professional title and first on the Mackenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada, making him just the third player to win on both the Mackenzie Tour and PGA Tour Latino America. Entering the Syncrude Oil Country Championship presented by Akon, the 27-year-old Florida native sat fourth in the order of merit within striking distance of a web.com tour card. And we caught up with him before the start of tournament play for this week's On the Bag. What does the win do for your confidence heading into the second half? It definitely gives you confidence. It was nice to put four good rounds together um, you know, in one tournament and come out with the win. Uh, a lot of times you play good and you don't win. So, uh, you know, this, this sport is, uh, can definitely reward you at, at random times, but it was nice to get one last week, for sure. I think he's a bus driver right at it. Oh, that's no good. Some trees. Come out to a course your dad designed. Yeah. What's it like playing on that? You know, it's it's neat. Uh, I haven't played a professional tournament on a course that uh, has been a McCumber Golf design. There's not much guarding it. You know, that's why I like driver. As long as you hit a solid one, you're going to be up there somewhere close. It'll be neat to see how the course changes with the condition um, because come Thursday and then even come the weekend, you know, it's going to get firmer and faster and play a little bit different. This is like a 212 club, so if I hit a cut with this, it should be good. My caddy this week is my cousin Josh, and he's a great player as well. Played web.com, has played multiple US Opens, um, so <laughs> he's helped me out with the strategy. These are good pins right here. That's like a false front. Trying to figure out where to play to certain pens, you know, where to give ourselves the best chance at uh, making birdies, um, you know, and really having a good shot at uh, on all the harder pin locations. So that's kind of the stuff we're noting. It looks like that low spot is right here, Josh. You just maybe put an arrow towards this, like, left edge of this bump, yeah. and then find the low spot over there, too. Yeah. Obviously, the win last go around, how's the season been? It's been good. Yeah, I've been playing really solid this year. Uh, I've been working really hard on my game, um, working really hard on uh, sort of the mental stuff as well, and, um, and it's nice to finally put one together and, and get a win. It was right here, but I think without it, you just got to keep it right, you know, a little better drive with the... Player development, what's the Mackenzie Tour mean? The play out here is unbelievable. Like, it's, it's really good, and it is, you know, developing you to get ready for the tour, and um, between the play, the courses, the way they run these events, the McKinsey Tour does such an amazing job. Um, and so, you know, playing these tournaments definitely prepares you for the next level, as you've seen with some of these guys who've made it 
Tony Finau, Aaron Weiss, McKenzie Hughes. You know, they're doing pretty well out there, so I think they're pretty prepared. Tyler McCumber climbed into a share of the lead on moving day at the Sinkroot Oil Country Championship presented by Acon, posting a six under 65. I felt pretty good about the round. Played solid, stayed aggressive. Just try to keep making more birds. Only three fourths of the tournament done. But I really do love the design. I'm not just saying that because uh, it's my dad, but um, I really love some of the holes. He carted five birdies and an eagle against just one bogey and is in the mix for a second consecutive title on the McKenzie Tour. It's always fun nerves being in the last group. I think it gives you a bit of an edge just because you've come off a win, so you know you can yeah. do it. Germany's Yannick Paul, who's only been a pro since June after graduating from the University of Colorado, caught McCumber at the top with a birdie, birdie, birdie finish. I will take that finish tomorrow too. <laughs> <laughs> the last couple of tournaments, I felt like I was Somewhat close, I was hitting it decent, but the putts didn't really drop. Obviously, it's not really easy to stay patient all the time, but it, I just started uh, my pro career, so I'm glad I'm already in, the, in this position now and I'm for you more. 36 hole leader George Cunningham struggled in the elements. He posted a 1 over 72, falling back into a tie for fourth, as did his playing partner Matt Marshall. Steady through the front nine, the veteran struggled down the stretch. A three over 74 dropped him back into a tie for 20th. While second round leaders were battling, Ian Holt cruised to a bogey free six under 65, which vaulted him into solo third. But with 12 players within four shots of the lead, competition for the season's eighth trophy would heat up in the final round. Can Tyler McCumber hold on to become the first back-to-back -back winner on the McKenzie Tour? We'll find out after the break, but first, I've got a great girlfriend, i got a dog. I try to get out and get in the fresh air. Canadian Riley Wielden attacks the 2018 season with newfound clarity when this is the Mackenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada Returns. This is the Mackenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada. Entering the 2018 McKenzie Tour season, Riley Wielden was coming off of one of the worst runs in his professional career. On just four of seven made cuts, the Comox BC native earned just one top 25 and finished outside the top 100 on the order of merit. But golf is a funny game, and at the halfway point of the season, he's knocking on the door to the top 10, thanks in part to a growth in confidence. I would be lying if I'd say, that it was the highest it's ever been. Probably the lowest low was, you know, about a year ago and it's steadily climbing. A little bit more consistency now and being in contention a few more times will get it back to where I think it should be. Wielden knows a thing or two about playing the long game. His best year came in 2013 when he netted his only victory along with five top 25s. Now, in his eighth season on tour, he's already posted two top 10s including a second place finish in Thunder Bay. Even though you come up short, I executed under pressure the way you need to if you were to win a tournament. So I do still have that belief. I'd like to actually get the job done here at some point this summer. So, you know, I'm still grinding away. With experience comes perspective. And the 27 year old is learning how to balance the game he loves with a life outside the ropes. I've got a great girlfriend, i got a dog. I follow basketball very closely. I try to get out and get in the fresh air, read, just anything that I can do to kind of separate myself. For a few years there, golf was everything to me. And when I struggled, I would take that off the golf course. I feel like I'm much fresher each week when I get to the golf course because I haven't been stressing. You need to be fresh out here to, to grind and, and battle these guys. His new outlook has paid off. Although we missed the cut in Edmonton, Wielden has worked his way to the top in the race for Freedom 55 Financial Canadian Player of the Year honors. I felt pretty good about my game all year, honestly. It's nice to know that I'm still capable of playing close to winning golf. So I've kind of got a bigger picture outlook this year and, and just trying to take it one week at a time. 54-hole co-leader Tyler McCumber teed it up in the final round of the Sinkroot Oil Country Championship presented by Acon, 
tied with Germany's Yannick Paul. But an incredible six birdie run on the front nine separated McCumber from his playing partner and the rest of the field. And he never looked back. Their game plan today was to come out and just try to make as many birdies as possible. There's so many guys in the hunt and it was really important to get off to a good start and keep the pedal down and not let up. Paul couldn't keep up with that blistering pace. He posted a one under par 70, good enough for a T5 finish, the highest of his young career. Playing in the second to last group of the day, McCumber's only challenger, Ian Holt, posted an eight under par 63, but could only get within two strokes of the lead as McCumber closed with the 63 of his own and his second consecutive victory. It's a privilege to go back to back on the McKinsey Tour. It was just such a fun week. The more I kept playing this course, it kept growing on me. His father, Mark McCumber, the course designer and 10-time PGA Tour champion, was instrumental in his success. I've talked to him every night. He just reminded me about all the stuff I'm working on, just all those normal reminders. Um, and my mom said to win this for her, so I have to say that it's for her, not my dad. <laughs> so <Yeah>. thanks, Mom. <laughs> all kidding aside, McCumber is the first player in McKenzie Tour history to win back-to-back -back tournaments and he jumps to number one in the order of merit. With just four events left in the season, he's in very good position to earn a web.com tour card at the season-ending Freedom 55 Financial Championship in London. I'm very happy where my game's at. I obviously want to keep getting better every week, uh, and I do think I'm doing that. I've been working really, really hard on the mental side. It really is kind of staying aggressive and believing in yourself, and it's nice to do it two weeks in a row. Thanks for watching. Coming up next time on This is the McKenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada, the players head back to Calgary for the ATB Financial Classic.